Welcome to St. Louis and Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals since 2006. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros, the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here and towing the slab. The guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. And Singy, he's a workhorse, loves pitching deep into his starts. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And the righty deals. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. The kick, the 3 2. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground, right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up, and right there we see the result. Here's Michael Brantley. the count two and one on. runner at first with no outs here this one smashed down the right field line no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one away The third baseman of the two. And now it's Alex Bregman. Wainwright picks the first. Altuve back safely. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off, two and two. Popped up. And no one can get to it, it's a foul ball. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that's the second out of the inning on the force play. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Man at first. Your Don Alvarez digs in now. The 1-1. One, one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Left-hand hitter waits. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? 
Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part. You can get on the inside part of the plate as well. Ground ball to the right side. Golden takes it himself out number three. So the Astros lead one. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the first. And towing the mound for Houston in this one, Justin Verlander. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Ground ball left side Bregman and he'll be safe at first boom that's staying within his game right there I mean this speedster gets the infield single and now he's on base to possibly do some damage I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate here comes a pitch on the ground right side four six three and they turn the double play. Batting third, the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. This guy has turned into a beast. And here it comes. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. You can stomach a two-out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there on the base pass, it can turn into two or three bases. Here's Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Guriel handles the chance. And they get Arenado for the out. And that is that. The cards leave one, scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. 1-1 one, one now. That's inside. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Tosses to first. Leadoff right man retired here in the second. Kyle Tucker. Here's Kyle Tucker. Second inning here, no score. And down on strikes, and there's two away. Chaz McCormick getting ready to hit. Chaz McCormick. Two down, nobody on. There's the swing and a miss. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. No score here in the second. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And that is that. One left for Houston. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
Back here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the second. This is Dylan Carlson. Here's a 1 1. And there's a the ball. Left hand batter waits. Strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Next one off the plate inside. Full count now. The wind of the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Maldonado puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They that look exists. really good coming in, that but so to hard to get on top Corey. of as a hitter. Dickerson. Here's Corey Dickerson. One down, base is empty. This one high in the air to left center. Brantley heading to the alley. Racing makes the catch. And there are two down. Batting seven. The catcher, Yadier. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. And the next now, pitch is one. way outside. Sliced hard but foul. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Next offering is foul back. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. A foul ball, he stays alive. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Redbirds down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. The pitch. In the air, right side of the infield. Goldie makes the grab. One up, one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Now Unbelievable that, that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Single to right in his first trip. Ball to strike. And a foul ball. One and two now. Altuve waits. And a curve misses outside. Top of the third. No score. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Here comes a 3-2. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now, the left fielder, Michael Brantley. He's over one. He's going. Runner on the goal. Rolled over to third into the outfield base hit. They get it in quickly. So, first and second, now one out. 
Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Alex Bregman. Stays alive. The pitch. That one lifted to left. O'Neill settles under this one. Makes the catch for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Here's a big power threat. You're Don Alvarez. The 1 1. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch downstairs. Now three and one. Foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Popped up left side. Pretty young under this one. And that is that. Two left for the Astros, and we are still scoreless. Back here in St. Louis as we go to the last of the third. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is popped up. Guriel under it. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just Bad got enough. underneath it a little bit and popped the it up. Fielder, Harrison. Bader. And now Bader up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. That one misses all three. And a pitch. And he walked him. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented. Bader runs. Pitch misses. Throw, and they got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. The 2 1. And a foul ball left side. Right, 
slow roller to first. He steps on the bag, gets him easily, ends the inning. On to the fourth, still scores. Start of the fourth, now it's Yuli Gurriel. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That one in for a strike, two and two. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next pitch just misses, and it's three and two. To the right side. Tosses to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job right of field. keeping Number the ball 30. out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Kyle Tucker. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely, if he's doing damage now, if he's rolling up. Has some trouble with it, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. The 2-2. Two -two. And now the count filled up three and two. That's to third. Arenado to first in time. And that'll do it. Astros are down quietly. Still no score. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt. The wind and the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It now used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw Tyler. it because it threw off their release oh, point and their dear. mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him oh, to chase. To That's just a bad approach the right there. Baseman. Either he was looking for something no else and got completely right. fooled, oh, no. or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Here's Nolan Arenado. In there. And so now one and two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Pena. The pitch. 
on the ground to first. Goldie steps on the bag, one away here in the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone oh, right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Martin Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Maldonado. Martin Maldonado up to hit. The 1-1. One, one. Gets him to chase after that one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The 1-2. One, Wouldn't chase that time. 2-2 two, two down. Stays alive. Righty delivers. And now it's filled up. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, now but that, neither happened. Close base. pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So the Houston lineup turns over. Jose Altuve up to hit here. It's a 1-1. Foul ball. Ground ball up the middle, sneaks through, base hit. Quick throw back in, lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just so sound in his mechanics, hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Go ahead, run on base. Now Michael Brantley steps in. That's ripped into the outfield. Tracks it down for the out. Two away back. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Now it's Alex Bregman. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. And the 2-2. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Here's a 2-2. Bregman swings. Hits one deep. Left field. Goal! Alex Bregman sends it out. The Astros strike first. It's 3-0. And with that blast, you could hear a pin drop here in the ballpark. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Center field. DeYoung racing over to make the catch. Houston brings in three on this homer. It's now 3-0. Back here at Bush Stadium, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Dylan Carlson. That hits the dirt and a count two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three one count. The wind of the pitch. Nope, now in this three ball count down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. 
And a 3-1 on the way. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Dickerson now. Dickerson. And the right hander deals. Carlson aboard here at first with nobody out. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Next pitch has popped up. Altuve settles under it. And there's one down. The catcher number four. Yadier Molina. Now Molina at the plate. And a pitch. That's off the mark. It's two and two. Two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Hit on the ground might be two. Altuve over to second. On to first. Double play. And that's the inning. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Five innings complete. It's the Astros three and the Cardinals nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Nick Whitbridge. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now a full count. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Leading off for the Astros. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. Nobody out. Runner at first. Ground ball could be two. Takes it to the bag. That's one. On the Goldsmith. That's two. Good 6 3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job to work closer to getting out of this inning. Two outs. Base is empty. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. He's 0 for 1. Right handed reliever. In plenty of time to first, and that is that. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Astros 3 and the Cardinals nothing. Bottom of the sixth. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. The Cardinals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here's a 1 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Slice the other way and foul. And a pitch. 
Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Maldonado to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Now batting. The center fielder. Harrison. Bader. Here's a speed threat. Harrison Bader. So now one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And now two and two. Good eye right there. The wind of the pitch. Out there to center. McCormick settles underneath it. Two away. The batter number 19. Second baseman, Tommy. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here is Tommy Edmond. Fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. One, two, three. Go the Cardinals. They trail in this one. Three nothing. Back here at the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh. And stepping in for the Astros. Jeremy Pena. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Jordan Hicks getting loose out there. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now one away. Here's now the back. catcher, Martin Maldonado. Martin. And here it comes. Pitch is in there. Three and two now. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Line to left. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Well, there's something really yeah, nice about getting yourself base. an automatic double Isaiah. like that. You get oh, to super. stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Next offering is foul back. Maldonado over at second, one down. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Now two away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and the still you. late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Michael Brantley stands in. Two outs. Don't catch off the plate. Ball two. Runner at second. Two down. High fly ball out of the left center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And the inning is over. So the Astros lead one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. The 
pitch. And it's filled up. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that now thing does. Batting. Huge Let's movement. Move it. It's so Tyler. difficult to get on the same plane and even oh, think about dear. squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Swing and a line drive caught. Now batting third baseman, Nolan. Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Next up for the Cardinals. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. One two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They trail it here, three nothing. We're gonna rock the next inning, don't worry. A new pitcher in the game, Jordan Hicks. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Jordan Hicks. Back here in St. Louis, ready to begin the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Alex Bregman. In for a strike, now it's three and two. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. This one smacked out to left center. O'Neill racing over to make the catch. The back. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. At the belt and fires. And that's outside. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eight. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Here's Guriel. And a 3-2. In the air, center field. Bader under it makes the catch and that'll do it Astros go down one two three but they lead it three nothing and welcome back out of the bottom of the eighth and stepping in for the Cardinals Dylan Carlson one two now Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Maldonado to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now batting the designated hitter, 
Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson now at the plate. In the air out to center. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The catcher Dominant four. performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off the stride too much. And now the catcher comes up to him. Yadier Molina. 1 1 now. And there's a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Oh, just a nice now job coming it. through in a pretty high leverage spot oh. right there. Just a Here cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And the right hander deals. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And a payoff pitch. Bounce to the left side. Sneaks through base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. So a new pitcher out of the bullpen for the Astros, Hector Neris. And he's on to deal with the bases loaded. Now, Harrison Bader. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Dickerson at third. Molina on second. Beyond over at first with one away. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. Substitution now at second base. Cardinals going with a pinch runner. Edmundo Sosa. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Edmund. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, now but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. Good contact guy, good defender. 2-2 Two -two now. I risk of walking in a big run here, and these fans really letting them hear it as well. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. Man, that looked to be in the strike zone right there. That's a tough one to have go against you and force in a run. 
Tyler O'Neill will hit next. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The pitch. Swing and a miss. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. It's looking rock solid so far. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. And a good eye there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Rip towards third. Bregman to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros three and the Cardinals two. And Mundo Sosa. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. Number All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the right Sosa. fielder, Kyle Tucker. Come on, Cardinals, let's go. The one two. The punch out there, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Chaz McCormick back. up the next for the field. Astros. Chaz McCormick. One run game here in the top of the ninth. On the ground to third. Over to Goldie. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And a pitch. That one off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Slice down the right side. pitch and another ball crowd locked in right now one run game here in the ninth the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four what a battle it's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that wall runner at first and two away and next to hit for Houston Martin Maldonado Next offering is down low. Just missed. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Bounce to third. Arenado to first in time. And the inning is over. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Astros three and the Cardinals two. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And he deals. And that's outside. Yeah. 
to the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. The tying run at the plate. He tried to get him to chase on a slider, down it away. And the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Guriel makes the play, and there's one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little now bit back. too much. Sometimes right those eyes can get really Get-Lay. big. I think his swing broke down oh, as well, and God. that's what caused him to pop it up. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. A one run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. This to third, Bregman handles. Sends it to first, and they're down to their last out. Now that is the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Here's the Cardinal DH, Corey Dickerson. In the air, left field. He pulls it down, ball game. And the Astros hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Fans, our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious.